Hi, this is Aki again from Aki's Garage. Welcome to another video. Video today is for uh, cloning uh, ECU. Uh, those ECU is for Vauxhall Corsa 2009 1.4 petrol engine. As you can see, I got a genuine uh, ECU from the car and this is a donor one. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to get all the information from this ECU, which is a flash data and EPROM data and transfer everything to the new one and hopefully we can try to uh, start the car without doing any uh, programming and coding. Uh, I just uh, uh, would like to mention those ECU is from my colleague. He's got a car over there. We might be, if we have a time, we can go over and we can try after cloning. So the software uh, and program uh, today I'm going to use is a KT200 and uh, this is the wiring diagram. Pin uh, number 43 is can low, pin number 11 is can high, uh, pin number 5 is grand, pin number 2 is k -Lon, and we go free uh, power, uh, I mean 12 volt power. So hopefully we can read the uh, information on that ECU and then transfer everything back to the new one. Oh guys, uh, I done all the uh, wiring pin out. Yeah, from here, we go to KT200 and make sure you guys, you put the 12 volts on the KT200, otherwise it won't open. That's KT200, we just start K200. As you can see, I already select my ECU. This is uh, Opel, same as Vauxhall. So I'm going to put the ignition on. As you can see, the ignition is on and try to get the ID. Now trying to communication to the ECU. As you can see, this is all my ID everything. So I'm going to read the flash first the flash just save as a flash original now it's going to communication again turn off and turn on again I just say okay. Now we see, hopefully, we can read the ECO. I believe the ECO is damaged and it's, uh, it's just got misfiring, and they already sent the ECO to the ECO testing and they couldn't fix it. Yeah, that's good guys, it's just reading the file, as you can see, 15% and it's, it's good, so we just wait. Turn off the dashboard, so we just turn off the dashboard and we press OK. As you can see, my flash uh, data is here. Now I switch to the EEPROM and I press read the file so I just save that one as eprom.org so press save All right, this time turn off and turn on again and we press Ipres, okay. Oh, that's nice. It's, all, it's already uh, read the 
uh, if you want as well turn off so now we're turning off it press ok and this is my uh, data let me just double check to see if I got uh, good uh, reading so I'm going to open my hex and this is the original EPO yeah that's good you guys you can see all the information chassis number everything is here so that's good so what I'm going to do I'm going to take off all the uh, wiring pin out and just plug everything back to the uh, donor ECU and we try to write everything back to the donor and hopefully after that we can go over and we can try to start the vehicle. This is the original ECU and this is the donor one. So let's go back to the let's go back to the software again. Yeah, let me just go back here. So I'm going to put the ignition on and then go back to flash. Just get the ID on this. ECU that's good from here we don't we don't need to read any file we don't need to read any what you call the flash and EPROM because this is the donor uh, ECU so we're going to go straight to uh, open file and then we press here uh, flash original and then we just press write so now trying to write in the file again connecting to the server so turn off and turn on again this is the actual ECU donor ECU press ok You can see guys is trying to write in all the original file back to the donor ECO. guys turn the dashboard off and wait you just press ok yeah got in complete end that's good so now let's we go to the EPROM and we open the original EPROM flash this is the original and try to open and now writing Turn the dashboard off on again. Press yes. That was very quick. Turn off the dashboard and wait. Okay. Just wait. Um, and that's it, guys. Everything good here. 
Evin OK. Perfect. So you already disconnect the power. You just take off all wiring pin out. So I'm going to take those two ECO back to the car and uh, we make sure uh, the car starts. Oh guys, I'm just next to the car. As you can see, this is the genuine uh, ECU from the car. The new ECU just right here. I hope you guys you can see. I just plug everything temporarily. As you can see, I have to put those to bolt back. So let's we see we can start the car. This is the key. Center locking works. So I'm getting inside the car. Oh guys, I'm inside the car, put the ignition on, ignition is on, hold the pedal and try to start the car and the car is start, everything is good, we don't have any engine light, engine used to have misfire, as you can see guys, there is no any misfire, everything is good, I'm happy with the result, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope there is some information for someone and like always, thank you very much for watching.